Hello everyone, I've got another tiny little uh, kitchen fitting tip here for you, again on end panels. It's perhaps more of a good practice rather than a tip. What I'm doing is fitting, just finishing off, I've got a couple of cavities here for freestanding washing machine there and a freestanding tumble dryer there. They've got end panels each side down to the floor. I'm just coming to fit this last one against the wall. And my tip is, or what is good practice, if you can with these end panels, always try and put the factory machined edge down to the floor, especially here in a utility room because it's tiled. The factory edge is a lot more resistant to moisture. Um, so if you can put that down, uh, on the tiles, if there is any spillages, it's not going to blow the panel. If the floor is a long way out and you can't do that, obviously then you may well have your MDF raw edge. Really important that if you do put this down to the floor that you um, put some PVA along here to, to stop any moisture getting in. I would usually just use like a waterproof PVA. I would put at least two coats along uh, there if I was putting that on the floor. So they're just a simple tip. I know you can't always do it, but if you can, always maintain the factory edge and put that down onto the floor. So yeah, this panel, I'm going to keep the, the factory edge on the bottom uh, because it's going down onto the tiles. It, some, I have done kitchens before where I've actually kept the panels off the floor, but it depends what the customer wants. Now, interestingly here, you'll see that this floor is a tiny bit out of level, so it's dropping away. So actually, by the time I put that in, this panelling upright, there will be a slight gap on the front. I'm prepared to take that as a compromise to not taking off the factory edge. And I think that will just uh, be able to resist moisture a lot better if there is a spillage in here. What I also will do here is just uh, put some PVA sort of up, maybe four inches up the back of there, just in case there's a real deluge in here. I mean, ultimately, we're trying to sort of help these uh, kitchens and panels and things resist a certain amount of water. Obviously, if there's a massive flood in here, you know, there's only so much we can do. Yeah, so here's an example of where I've had to cut the bottom. The customer wants this end panel to go tight down to this uh, wooden flooring, and the floor is a little bit too far out of level here for me to sort of kick it up a little bit so you'd see it. So what I've had to do in this instance, I've had no choice, is I've had to cut the bottom of the panel. And what I'll do, as I said earlier, and I think I showed in one of my other videos, uh, and my kitchen fitting basics, I think I will now take that off and put two coats of PVA on the bottom edge. So I'll just put uh, two coats of PVA on there. I know it, I've got to wait for it to dry, but then that will just help if um, hopefully not too much moisture is going to get spilled on this wooden floor, otherwise they're going to be in all kinds of trouble. And swollen end panels will be the last of their worries, but we do everything we can to try and stop that from swelling up because get any water on this and it'll just explode. That's just a bit of mud on the, uh, it's got protective film on it still, so just put a bit of PVA on it. I'm just going to use my finger, it's good enough. Make sure we get it all the way in there. So I'll probably give that maybe half an hour, 40 minutes to tack off and then I'll put another coat on it, let that dry and then I'll, I'll go and fit it and that'll give it a fighting chance to stop any moisture getting in there and blowing it.